the Wild Winter Challenge. My name is Jodie and my name is Harriet and we are from the Wild Tribe. So together over the next three months we're going to be taking part in an amazing challenge that includes a range of activities. These things are going to be like arts and crafts, getting out into nature and also some really calming activities that are going to bring a big smile to your face this winter. It's going to be so much fun and it's all going to be delivered directly to your door. So you'll get a box in December and January and February. Now in December's box, you'll have three activities and also a step-by-step -step video, which we'll send to you and we'll be here along the way to guide you through each stage. The most exciting part of the challenge, that's gonna happen in March and it will take part at Urchester Country Park. It's gonna be a magical forest party and hopefully you'll get to meet some of the other children who have taken part along the way. Now, you should have already received your December activity box and you're made with many bags. Shall we see what's inside? Okay, so inside your bag, you'll find a welcome letter and a leaflet about Made With Many. We've also popped in a few books for you to keep. The rest of the bits that are in the bag are things that you'll be using over the next three challenge boxes. So you have your glue, you have a large wooden paintbrush, you have a bag here with some bits in it that you'll use. So I'll just go through this. So you have some crayons. You have some pencils. You have a small pencil. And of course a sharpener. You then have some scissors. A small wooden paintbrush and then you also have these little reward stickers and they are three trees in a row so I'll tell you a bit more about that now so we need to open this roll of paper this brown paper is going to be used for your eco wrapping paper activity so I'm going to put this aside and put it with my box for later inside the brown roll is your adventure map so this is your wild winter map and you're going to be using this to document every time that you do an activity. So once you've completed your activity, you'll get one of your tree stickers and add it to the map. So if you can see here, December, you've got three circles to add your stickers to for each activity that you complete. Right, let's look inside your December activity box. So you will find your postcard, which has information about the project on the back and the front. You'll see some packaging here. It's just quite fun to use for different crafts, so you might want to take that away and keep that for other activities. So let's go through each thing in your box. You've obviously already opened your brown paper, which is for the eco wrapping paper activity. Along with this activity, you will need your stamp, your circle stamp, which is here. And you'll also need some white paint. For your happy post activity, you will need this stripy bag, which has got lots of bits inside that you'll be using. So you'll have in here your postcards, two postcards and two envelopes. You also have some lovely star stickers and your different coloured paper to use for your activity. So that's all inside that envelope for you there. And then the third activity is your Play-Doh snow making. So this is all you need for your Play-Doh. And then you'll be adding this little tub of oil and lemon juice. And then right at the bottom of your box, you've got another book as a gift for you. Right, should we start our adventure? Yeah. We're gonna start off by making some eco wrapping paper and you can make and use this to wrap any gifts over the festive season. So you're gonna need a few of your ingredients from the box and your bags. Definitely going to need the oilcloth mat because you might get paint. a bit messy. It might do. <laughs> so if you grab your messy mats and you'll need your roll of brown paper, you'll need your tub of white paint and also the little spongy stamp tool that you found in your box too. So now it's time to run through each step. And don't worry, we'll be here to guide you through. Let's get started. Can't wait. 
So now we're going to decorate your eco wrapping paper and you can see here we've got your recycled brown paper ready to create your snowy effect. I'm going to show you two techniques you can use to create an amazing pattern on your paper. First of all we've got your lovely white paint there and your spongy spongy stamp tool. Now first of all let's create snow and you guessed right we are going to dip this into your paint. And we don't need too much on there just a little wiggle in your paint like that. If you feel like there's too much on there you could always use your paintbrush to just rub that off like that. Okay let's give it a go. Oh brilliant. No. So now you may have wondered why I've left this gap. I've got an idea. Shall I try using a fingerprint? Let's give it a go. Right. It's nice to get your hands messy sometimes, isn't it? Oh, that's so much fun. Give that a go. And if any little babies will really enjoy that. And lastly, I've cut out this triangle just out of a piece of cardboard and you can cut any shape you like. You could cut a little Christmas tree, you could cut a circle, or you could cut a square, anything you like. And I'm gonna paint it white. This is just a very simple technique to create your own stamp at home. You are gonna get a little messy on your fingers. Are you ready? Give it a little push. And let's have a look. Oh, isn't that wonderful? I hope you enjoy yourselves. That was so much fun. I hope you've washed all that paint off of your hands. We've got a really special activity next, so should we get started? Yeah. So, we've got a special guest this month. Oh, yes. And uh, Harriet's gonna tell you a little bit about her. So her name is Bryony, and she is the Happy Post Lady. She's gonna be helping you with your activity, which is creating happy postcards to post to your neighbours or your grandparents. It's gonna be so much fun. Yeah. So. What are you going to need from your box for this? You're definitely going to need your brown postcards. You should have two of those so you can write to two different people. You'll also have some envelopes to go alongside them. And the most important thing will be your glue and your little stripy bag of decorations. So let's go to Bryony and see what she's got to say. Cool, let's go. Hello, my name is the Happy Post Lady and I love to write and send cards and letters, especially this time of year because it's coming up to Christmas. So today I'm going to help you to create your Christmas postcards, help you decorate them and then we are going to put some lovely words inside our card or on the back of our postcard to spread some joy this Christmas. So let's get going. I have started to make a card here, and yours might look different to mine, but that doesn't matter. So I've got some Christmas tape, which you might have at home, and I've also got some stars. So I'm going to stick lots of different stars and stickers onto my card. Whatever you've got at home would be amazing for your card to make it nice and sparkly and looking really, really festive. Once you've decorated your card, we're going to put some words inside. So hopefully you're going to have lots of fun, and that's my top tip. Make sure you have lots of fun making your card really sparkly and shiny so that the person who gets it feels really, really special and really, really lucky to receive your card. So once you've decorated your card, it's now time to do the writing inside. I've decided to write my card to my brother Elliot. So make sure inside you write who your card is to. You can either say to or you can use the word dear. So I've decided to say dear Elliot. Dear Elliot, Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful festive holiday. Lots of love, the happy post lady. 
So when you think about your writing and the words you want to use in your letter or your card, make sure you make it lovely and positive. Merry Christmas, have a lovely time, eat lots of food, even your sprouts, have fun, enjoy family time. These are the words that you can use inside your card to make your person feel really, really special and like this Christmas is gonna be the best Christmas ever. You could even include a Christmas joke and your adults might be able to find you a Christmas joke online that you can include on your card, on your letter. So mine says, what wears a red suit? And says, oh, oh, oh. And the answer to my joke is Santa walking backwards. Now that I've finished my card, I'm going to put it inside my envelope. Once you've sealed your envelope and you've written your address or the person that you're sending your card to, you need to then pop it in the post box or take it down to their door and post it through their letterbox. I really hope you've enjoyed making your cards today and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you, Bryony. So much fun. I can't oh. wait to post my postcard. Me neither. So next up, we've got our third activity and we're going to be getting really cosy to start with, reading a lovely winter story. I love this story. Would you so like to much. hear it? Let's go. So today we're going to be reading Over and Under the Snow by Kate Messner. It's a lovely story. I hope you enjoy it. Get yourselves comfy. I'd have a hot chocolate as well. So, let's go. Over and Under the Snow by Kate Messner. Over the snow I glide, into woods, frosted, fresh and white. Over the snow, a flash of fur, a red squirrel disappears down a crack. Where did he go? Under the snow, Dad says. Under the snow is a whole secret kingdom where the smallest forest animals stay safe and warm. You're skiing over them right now. Over the snow I glide past beech trees rattling leftover leaves and strong silent pines that stretch to the sky. On a high branch, a great horned owl keeps watch. Under the snow, a tiny shrew dodges columns of ice. It follows a cool tunnel along the moss out of sight. Look, Dad says, tracks. Tracks always tell a story. Over the snow, a deer has crossed our path. Deep hoof prints punch through the crust, up the hill and under a tree. An oval of melted snow tells the story of a good night's sleep. Under the snow, deer mice doze. They huddle up, cuddle up against the cold in a nest of feathers and fur. Over the snow I climb, digging in my edges so I don't slide back down. Under the snow, voles scratch through slippery tunnels, searching for morsels from summer feasts. Over the snow, I swoosh. Down, down, faster, faster. Down, faster, faster. <gasps> Whoops. Under the snow, a snowshoe hare watches from a shelter of spruce. Almost invisible, she smooths her fur, a coat of winter white. Over the snow I glide, past reeds where tadpoles play tag in the springtime. Under the snow, fat bullfrogs snooze. They dream of sun-warm days back when they had tails. 
Can you see the... Over the snow, I stand and stare. Little mountains in the marsh. Under the snow, beavers gnaw on aspen bark, settled in for supper. Can they hear my tummy rumbling too? Over the snow, stop a sound. We stand like statues carved in ice till a bushy-tailed fox steps from a thicket. Tips his ear to the ground. Listens, listens, listens still. And leaps out onto the snow after an invisible dinner. His paws scratch away to find the mouse he heard scritch, scritch, scratching along underneath, under the snow. Can you see him? And there's a very tiny little mouse there. Over the snow I glide, a full moon lights my path to supper. Under the snow, a chipmunk waits for a meal. Bedroom, kitchen, hallway, his house under my feet. Over the snow, I climb one last hill. Bonfire smoke rises, warm hands, hot cocoa, hot dogs, sizzling on pointed sticks. Under the snow, a black bear snores, still full of October blueberries and trout. Over the snow, the fire crackles and sparks shoot up to the stars. I lick sticky marshmallow from my lips and lean back with heavy eyes. Shadows dance in the flames. Under the snow, a queen bumblebee drowses away December all alone. She'll rule a new colony in spring. Over the snow, I glide home on tired legs. Clouds whisper down feathery, soft flakes. Can you see them? Under the covers, I snuggle deep and drift off into dreams. Dreams of cuddling deer mice and slumbering frogs, hungry beavers and tunnelling voles, drowsy bears and busy squirrels, and the secret kingdom under the snow. Wasn't that such a lovely story? Oh, that was such a cosy story! Thank oh, you, Harriet. I loved reading it to you all, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as we do. I've got a really good idea. Oh, so who makes them snow? Oh, that's a brilliant idea. It'll go perfectly with the book we just read. So you should have in your box all the ingredients to make snow Play-Doh. Brilliant. So you need your little tub of Play-Doh mix in your brown tub. You need a little pot of oil and lemon juice. You'll also need a few things from home. So this will include a bowl and a spoon. It could be any size bowl. It could be a cereal bowl. It could be a big mixing bowl that you use for cake making. Yeah. You'll also need one other key ingredient that couldn't be put in your box and that is some warm tap water so you could probably get a jug ready rook up that will be the perfect amount to go into your mix cool should we get started yes let's do it let's go Woo! now we've read this lovely book let's make some snow so the first thing you'll need is a bowl you can use a cereal bowl or a baking bowl whatever you've got to hand and then you'll need your brown tub of play-doh mix inside this mix is some salt and some flour so i'm going to pour the dry ingredients in first the next thing i'm going to find is my lemon juice and oil in the little tub so i'm going to pour that in now if you could fill this back up with warm water that'd be really handy so i'm going to fill this up with water Here we go, there's some warm water, and I'm going to pour it in gently, a little bit at a time, and stir.
start to get it all together in a big bundle and then if you can see here I'm just kneading the dough and it's starting to form like a nice squidgy texture. I'm going to make sure all the flowers on there as well. Now my play-doh is ready and perfect. So I'm going to make some snow with it I think. So I'm going to make some snowballs and roll it in between my hands. There's one. I might make a tiny one now. You could use a rolling pin to make flat snow or tiny little balls to make snow coming from the sky. You could even make a snowman. You could also roll this flat and put a leaf on top and see what texture's left when you peel the leaf away. Lots of fun to be had. So you've now completed all three of the activities from your December box. And I don't know about you, Jodie, but I've absolutely loved each one. It, it was, was so much fun. fun. It was great. And then if you'd like to, you can share your photos online. So there's a lovely little Facebook forum on this postcard. And if you join the group, you can put your pictures up online and connect with other participants. We'll be putting some bits up and yeah. a bit of advice on how to do it. Yeah. Um, but feel free just to have a little look if you want to. If you don't want to, that's fine too. But we just would love to see a few of the things you've created along the way. And I know each and every one is going to be so unique and so different. So thank you in advance for posting those pictures. So you're going to need to keep a little lookout in January for your next box. And in that, we'll have another group of activities for you to complete. So for now, just have fun and we'll see you really soon. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.